Welcome to another devotion by Pastor Dan. Our lesson for this devotion comes to us from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the 8th chapter, verses 22 through 26. And what we have here is Jesus entering a city to, uh, named Bethsaida, and there he heals a blind man. Um, so I, I want us to hear this story that is recorded to us for us in Mark um, and about the power of Jesus to heal and to make his power known to all. They came to Bethsaida. Some people brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. And when he had put uh, saliva on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Can you see anything? And the man looked up and said, I can see people, but they look like trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he looked intently, and his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Then he sent him away to his home, saying, do not even go into the village. This is the gospel of our Lord. It's amazing to hear the story of one who is healed, who is blind. Um, the placement of the story um, is, is just prior to Jesus' uh, Peter's declaration of Jesus as Christ, and then again, uh, his first passion prediction. Uh, so, in the, that regard, um, we're not just speaking about a physical blindness, or, or Mark's not just speaking about a physical blindness that is being healed. Um, he's speaking more about, to a great extent, um, seeing God's activity, to a, a, a spiritual sight, uh, um, a, a way of seeing God's presence in this world where all we really see is virus and destruction and poverty and abuse, um, so forth and so on. Um, and at times, we, without sight, without this sight of, of uh, faith, um, we would be overwhelmed. Day in and day out, uh, this onslaught, we would be overwhelmed. And yet, um, in, in the hearing this story, we are ever mindful that um, we do see things through the eyes of faith that allow for us to see God's activity where there many cannot, where it, it seems as if the victory is of this world and of sin, um, of barrenness, of aridness, of nothingness, where, of wilderness, where nothing supports true life, but only draws life from us. I look at this tree and I look at all that is which around is around it and how barren how there's there's really no possibility of supporting life visible here uh, in this picture and yet in the middle of of a rock, hard rock and soil that does not grow things, we find this tree. There's this life that comes out of this barrenness that speaks of God to many. To others, it means nothing. It's different, it's unique, it's odd, it's crazy, it's... but for us who see with the eyes of faith, we see where life comes from nothing, out of ashes, out of dust, out of rock, 
comes this life that gushes forth and takes hold and is not moved. It's an incredible, incredible um, picture to a great extent for our Holy, Holy Week journey and as we enter into Palm Sunday. We see here how things that are of God, things that seemingly are impossible, take root in, in the most unforgiving, hard, cold, stony places of life and provide shade and shelter and life, fruits. That's what we're called to do. That's what who we're called to be in a world that is cold and hard and stony. We are called to reveal the impossible, which obviously we can't do without God. As we journey this week and the week ahead here, as we enter into Palm Sunday and see the life of the people as they gather around Jesus as he enters into Jerusalem, it doesn't take long for the hardness, the unsupporting of life, the environment that just drains and sucks life out of anything and anybody seems to dominate our day-to-day -day living and that takes hold on Good Friday and we are almost overwhelmed by those events and yet as we see and are mindful in this picture how life comes out of death and how we are able to bask in that shade, in that shadow in that life of Christ that gives us life and protects us and gives us hope, a hope that will not disappoint us. For it is in the eternal Lord that that hope comes. We will not be overcome by the ways of this world, for we have been filled with the life of Christ Jesus our Lord, in whose name we give thanks and praise. Amen.